I have to keep fighting. Yeah, he's a bit off his rocker. Hack yourself to remove the virus? Oh. Oh. I've got a virus in the arm that I put on myself. Yeah. But yeah, I guess you just can't hack the, uh, hack the other androids fully if they're fully infected to save them. But if you have a part that, you know, it's just that part that's infected that you're slapping on, that's A-OK -okay to hack and be safe, maybe. Maybe he'll just become slowly corrupted. We haven't gotten all that far in the Metal Gear series yet, but from what I've heard about, like, general plot summaries, um, <laughs> apparently there's a part in the story of that coming up that we'll have to look forward to of somebody transplanting someone else's arm onto themselves and seemingly getting possessed by that person. Let's not get into too spoilery of territory. But from what I've heard of general summaries, that's that's apparently a thing that we might have to look forward to as we continue with the Metal Gear series on the channel. Um, so that's kind of what that's reminding me of there. Project Gestalt Report 11. Um, yeah, I suppose so there. If the spread is all the way complete, it's like, what you gonna do? So how do I get, how do I check that report? I'm curious about it. Um, Intel? When did I get all these thing robobs anyway? Um, novel. Okay. It's those ones. Picture books. Oh, so I have 100% of the picture books. So that was all just during Route B. Uh, weapon stories. No, not tutorials. Unit data. Nope. Would this be... Okay, yeah, it is old world information. Um, Project Gestalt Report 11. I read these other ones, right? Um, yeah, I read those couple ones. Yeah, we got those in the area of, like, the robots that were wanted to become as gods. Um, so I'm apparently missing like a whole bunch here. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so we're for this seven hours in combo. Eight minutes done, jeez. <laughs> December 31st, 30, 3361. Summary, due to the relapse of the original, gestalt units and preservation are now relapsing at an accelerated rate. The process of recording their bodies and gathering their DNA continues, but progress is poor. New countermeasures and development intended to... How do I scroll down then? I have to select it and then scroll down. New countermeasures and development intended to serve as, re as a replacement to Project Gestalt are, com are scheduled to be transferred to the next generation preservation project preparation committee. As for this report, it will serve as the file record of both Project Gestalt and the committee. For information about the development plans for new Android models and the refinement of existing models, please refer to the attached sheet. Furthermore, we have received approval to consider the disposal of the Devil and Pope will observe models at a later date. Um, I mean... <laughs> Hopefully it ends up being shorter than that. I wasn't a hundred percent certain when I uh You know when I wrote it out and stuff like that. I'd have to double check how long things are there, but We shall uh, we shall see people died here. That means someone's gonna come and fight me, right? No No Nobody's coming to fight me These are the holograms that we saw in route B, right? Hi. To the tower. I feel so welcomed. You bastards. Because you made it this far, we have a special announcement. So it'll probably go down further, right? Is the case, because that usually happens as it goes through editing. Stuff. Okay, yeah, so there is something to come and fight me. Okay, just hack this guy before he even hits the ground. Just do that. Yeah. That was good to cut out there. Okay. Is this a beautiful song again? I believe. Okay. Or am I getting myself mixed up? I think it is. Okay. Now you've been hacked. Just shove my face into it. But yeah. Like an Elder Scrolls game? What, with like weird cuts and stuff? Or just like uh, the thing where Bob, where they just left a failed cut like directly in. I'll just destroy that one. That's not even coming to fight me. The one that drops them off. Okay. Pew. pew. Yeah, I uh, I've heard about that there. Pretty funny. Okay, cool. Neat. Pew. 
you. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna go around hacking all them. Hacking all them nerds. <laughs> Oblivion's such a wacky game. Another game on my mental list of things that I do want to eventually cover. But, you know. Don't know when the day will come. I do have that one, like, video essay that really delves into how Oblivion's AI works. That, you know, was an actual assignment that I turned in for university. I'm high. I'm high. Pew. But yeah. For the time Oblivion was huge, some stuff was bound to fall through the cracks. I suppose so, but uh... I wouldn't know. I don't know how large Oblivion is. But maybe one day we'll play it for the memes and see the uh, radiant AI for ourselves. Stuff. I would be quite intrigued by it. You know, it really is. <laughs> I can speak from experience quoting that with a, a friendo of mine. That is definitely really quotable. Yeah. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> okay. Q. Yeah. Unfortunately. <laughs> Okay, we're just gonna be listening to the uh, retro version of this the whole time. Pretty much. Look at all these things, Yoink. I did it! Sweet, I finally got the thing. I got my amazing prize. Um, but yeah. <laughs> There's that. Get a work for me on the side if you're sick. A top secret, your hard disposal. Is that my prize? This project you have. It means all of us. To be. Is it gonna show us it, or is it gonna switch characters? Well, we have no idea what the heck he just saw. <laughs> One dumpling with a random assortment of ingredients. Well, who knows what the heck he just saw. Yeah, took off his blindfold there. I still don't know why there were blindfolds. Maybe we'll find out soon. Wow. It's pretty mean. <laughs> yeah, sure did. Oh. Oh. I'll destroy them all. Oh. And this tower. How about n no, you don't kill me. My goodness. Whoops. Whoops. Uh. Well, it takes off half their health, so I gotta do it twice to each of them. Okay. Okay. All the pews. Complete, and then that takes you out almost. Okay, there we go. That does. That does. <laughs> this away we go. Whoa, okay, I can complete. Whoa, don't you dare try to stab me. I saw that. Don't think I didn't see you trying to stab me while I wasn't paying attention there. Well, I was paying attention because I did notice you trying to stab me. Oh, great. Yeah, I don't really know how best to slip through there. I don't know, something make the rounds on your Twitter feed about someone looking for an editor but wouldn't pay them? That would just be exposure? I think I uh, saw that as I was browsing around. Might have been like a uh, quote retweet that you did or something or other like that. Um, and this guy you follow is like, even if they were your friend, you'd be paying them heck this guy? Yeah, I mean, and I saw like, I don't know if it was a quote retweet or something or other. But someone made a really good point about, oh gosh dang it. Like, if they're editing stuff for you, like, on their own channel, like, if they're making some compilations on their own channel of stuff of yours, then, yeah, sure, do that for free and, you know, give them exposure. But if they're making something for your channel, like, actual content that you yourself are putting out there, yeah, pay them, you know? Only time that exposure is the, uh, is the solution is if they're doing something that's, like, purely their own project, you know, that's on their own channel and is related to you in some way. You know, but uh, if it's content that you're putting out there and you're benefiting from, yeah, you uh, you go ahead and pay them. I mean, you know, Eagle, if you want to work out like a new deal, 
<laughs> when it comes to editing, where instead of paying you with money, I pay you an exposure. I'm sure we can work something out if you want to. Like, I'm sure we can renegotiate here. <laughs> I like buddy. <laughs> well, the offer's on the table, I mean. <laughs> There's that. Commented saying that your online friend you was pay you minimum wage, and that was a pretty homey move. Yeah, like, I, I was looking for someone to, like, help me out with editing stuff anyway. And I know that I could always just go on, like, some platform, like, Fiverr or something like that, and, like, try to contract someone. But, like, I feel kind of nervous about that, because I'd rather be, you know, working with someone that I know and can vibe with and stuff, and, like, supporting someone that I know there. Like, I, uh, I've had some not-so-great experiences with random strangers that I've commissioned before, and I'd rather have someone that I, you know, that I already trust and stuff. Plus, then that means the channel revenue is being used to pay people that I know and trust in the community. And it's like, you know, revenue that's being made from this channel is being helped to support others around the community and stuff. And that sounds super wholesome and cool, so I like, uh, so I like doing that. <laughs> so when you said you were doing, like, jobs on the side, I was like, hey, just, wants to work for me? <laughs> things, uh, things kind of worked out. That's the thing to do, honestly. Just say, do you want to work for free to make my content? Bleh. Yeah. I mean... If somebody, like, if I wasn't looking for someone to do, like, work on something like that, like, if someone's not at all in the market looking for work, whether it be, like, art or an editor, and someone comes out up to me being like, hey, I want to do work for you, I'll just be like, oh, well, I'm not really looking for anyone, you know, to do work right now. So, you know, you know, maybe try to find someone else instead of me. Like, if you really want to do it there, like, i assuming, gosh dang it, I can't word today. Um, I make enough revenue on the channel that if somebody does come and do work for me, I can, like, pay them. But, you know, if somebody came up to me being like, uh, Oh, I really want to do this thing for you. Please pay me to do it. I'll just be like, what? I'm not looking for, I'm not looking for that right now. I'm sorry there. And there's also a lot of scams that go around targeting content creators, where one of the really frequent ones is people that will reach out to content creators and be like, Oh my goodness, I'm such a big fan of your work. I want to do, like, art or editing or literally insert anything else here. And I'll do it completely for free just because, like, I'm a fan of your work and, you know, I want to, uh, I want to get some more experience and, like, put some more stuff on, like, my, uh, editing or art resume or whatever the heck even. And the content creator will be like, oh, okay, cool, sure. And then when the person finishes what they're working on, they'll be like, you know, in hindsight, I actually worked really hard on it and it's only fair that I get paid for that work, you know? So, really, you should be paying me, like, X amount, thing or Bob, for this work that I said that I was gonna do for you for free. People like that, no bueno. That's literally just, you know, scamming typically small content creators that typically can't afford to pay somebody for work. That, you know, they get reached out to, being like, oh, can I do some work for you? And the content creator's like, oh, I, uh, I can't actually afford to hire anyone right now. No, no, that's fine, I'll do it for free. And then later be like, no, you should pay me for this. It's like, some people, I swear. You know, but yeah, um, paying Eagle with Kuzma's but yeah, I guess you could, I guess you could say that was some of the crazy stuff that Kuzma's done around here. Also, the funniest chain of events happened on Twitter over the past 24 hours. What happened there? Um, but yeah, also to be honest with Fiverr, you get so much less communication than with you. Yeah, like it's so much easier just to like reach out to someone on Discord and just that you're already familiar with and just be chatting about things there. As opposed to like Fiverr, where it's like, put in the request, here's the specs, and then like fingers crossed that you get the end product that you want. Um, like, you can talk to them throughout the process, but a lot of people there don't really talk that much. But yeah, is there how long this chapter is going to take? Christmas lie in your pockets, too. <laughs> oh, man. Hi there. Oh, okay, cool. Like, I definitely have enough of a stream budget to pay for things for, like, a good while. But if it winds up getting, like, super duper long, there might be part of me that might be like, huh, I might have to edit the rest of the chapters myself. <laughs> with uh with just that <laughs>